everybody. Um, I am working on the um, the little latch plate or keyhole plate that I'm going to put on my front of my travel log album. And I did a couple of tests on um, did the different embossing powders and stuff that I have. This is just some copper, and I use some acrylic paint over it to kind of dingy it up a bit and it didn't work out too well don't like that one this one is just gold and I've used stays on ink on that and I didn't care for the way that one came out this one was the copper and I added some black ultra fine to it made my own color and I put some stays on on top of that and I don't like the way that one is either <laughs> And then, finally, I got to this one, and I, I'll i show you how I did this, where I layered the embossing powders in the tray, and then got them on here. Now, the top part, I added a little bit more and reheat set it, but I don't like the way that turned out, because it kind of... Okay, so where was I? We are going to mix our own, um, our own embossing powders to make this type of effect. So you can see that it's got some copper and some black that's peeking through from um, behind there. And there's the part where I added more and it kind of, uh, I don't know, got all melty together and I kind of want the more pitted look. So, okay. So what we're going to do, let's get our, our embossing powder started and ready to go. My Versa mark over. Um, and on my last video, someone commented about using the, um, the distress things to do your embossing. And I know I can do that, but I like using the Versamark because it's very sticky and I know everything's going to stick to it and I won't have a problem. So that's why I chose to use that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a layer here of my embossing powder in copper in my pan and this is not going to be your conventional way of embossing where you put your versa mark on and then spoon it on this is going to be the opposite make sure I have enough there yeah a little bit more you just want a nice even layer not like I just dumped <laughs> big wad of that in there okay Stretch that out a little bit. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our black ultra fine. I'm just going to take a spoonful of it and I'm just going to start dropping some of this on here. And I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, you're covering all that up. It's going to come through, but it's not. It'll come through in bits and pieces as it melts. Okay, so that's ready to go. Take our verse mark. We're going to take our piece of grunge and we're going to stick it in here and get it good and stickied up with the Versamark and then we're going to drop it face down right into the embossing, paper, embossing uh, powders and we'll go ahead and mash this in And see what we have on this side. But at the top, make sure everything's got coverage. And let's see. I think I need a little bit more in this one corner. Okay. Flick it off. Okay, and then we'll move this aside and we'll go ahead and heat set this. And watch as it transforms.
Okay. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit. And then I'll pick it up and show you how cool this turned out. And I have just been kind of just playing around with things lately and coming up with these... I don't know, I've never seen anybody really do it like this before, so I'm hoping this is maybe something new that everybody can try. But if you can see, it's kind of got the mottled there, and then it's got some black, and the other colors are showing through there. So that is going on the front of my book. Let me get my book here. And it's going to go maybe right there. Or so so we'll stick that on there and um, that'll go along with my hinges we made yesterday so there you go go ahead and give it a try it was a lot of fun thanks for watching bye